Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Techno, welcome to a brand new Let's Play, which is Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I am playing this on Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, which is basically just a bunch of Sega Genesis games on a, in a collection. Uh, it's for the PS3, and uh, I'm just going to be playing through Sonic the Hedgehog. So without further ado, let's go. Now, there are save states in this game, which I'm going to use um, after I beat a zone, just in case I get a game over and I don't have to play from the beginning again, because this is an old game. And if you get a game over, you have to start from the beginning, of course. Um, now, this is a standard Sonic game. If you don't know Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, well, where were you? Um, so I'm not going to really be explaining the basics of the basics or anything. But I will um, say that uh, if you notice in the, if in the, in like most Sonic games there's a spin dash, but in the first Sonic game there is no spin dash. Instead, if, if you go down, he like looks down and you look at the entire screen. And other than that, um, in like Sonic, starting with Sonic 2, uh, there are seven Chaos Emeralds. However, in the original Sonic, there are only six, which I will be, tr I will try and get all the Chaos Emeralds in the game. There's only six of them, and but they are kind of challenging to get, um, just like in every Sonic game it is. Um, and hopefully I can get them. Uh, this is going to be a casual playthrough. Um, meaning I'm not gonna really stress over certain things like if I don't get all six chaos emeralds It's fine really in this game The only thing that the six chaos emeralds do is it changes the ending and that's it um, Which uh, you know is fine uh, also if you manage to get 50 rings and and complete the act uh, a giant ring will appear and when you jump through it you can uh, you will go into a special stage which will allow you to get a chaos emerald uh, You can actually get like all six before like like without um well, you can get all six by the time you beat like two zones i think uh but yep if you touch that you're it's over Ugh, i don't know okay like um i can i don't know why it's that hard for me i mean it's been a while since i played sonic so cut me some slack here now the original sonic the hedgehog uh i gotta say right now it's not like my favorite sonic game or anything However, I do like it a lot, and in fact, it was my first Sonic game. My very first Sonic game um, was uh, Sonic's um, Sonic Mega Collection on the PlayStation 2, and uh, it contained Sonic 1, 2, and 3 Knuckles, and Sonic 1 was obviously my first one. I mean, why wouldn't I play the first game in the series? And so, yeah, Sonic 1 was my very first Sonic game, and so in a way, I grew up with the, the classics. I, I did. It wasn't exactly on Sega Genesis or anything, but I did grow up with the classics. Um, now, something I really like about the original Sonic is it's not all about speed. It's about platforming, and that, I think that's something that people don't understand about Sonic. People have this misguided view of Sonic that it's all about speed, and it's, it's mainly Sega's fault as well. But, like, Sonic 1's a perfect example. It's not about speed. It's about platforming. Actually, it's more about momentum than it is about speed. Also, is there something over here? I just noticed this. There actually is. Oh, my God. I'll be honest. I mean, I'm sure that's not the first time I discovered that. But my, I didn't even... I just noticed that. Holy shit. Um, but, yeah. Sonic is not all about speed. It's about... It's fat. It's a fast-paced... Pla it's a fast-paced platformer. And it's all about momentum as well, which is, actually, I think that's one of the reasons why I love this game as well, is that, um, in order to go fast, you need to build momentum. With the spin dash, while well, I really like it as well, you know, the spin dash kind of made it a little easier to gain speed. But in this game, it's really hard to actually gain momentum, because there's no spin dash, you actually have to do it yourself. So it's, it's a little more challenging that way, and I appreciate that. Um, and another thing, um, oh, really, I just lost all my damn rings. <laughs> Well, actually, this will help cross the bridge. I should have got this sooner, but whatever. Um, obviously, it's an invincibility. Speaking of that, Sonic, um, the only thing Sonic can do in this game is jump. And I guess, oh, if you press down while running, you'll you'll go into a ball like this, which will help. Holy shit, I just, like, uh, ran, like, I just ran in air there. But, um, also, I'm pretty sure this is a box up there. I kind of want it. There we go. Um... What was I saying? Well, anyways, boss time. The first boss. Um, this one can be challenging, I gotta admit, but it's still pretty easy. Um, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2's final... Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2's first boss is extremely easy, so this is definitely harder than that one, but this shouldn't be too hard. I think 8 hits and he's down. I'm not completely sure. He just um, throws a giant uh, checkered ball on a chain at you, and you just have to keep dodging and hit him. 
Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't taken a hit. Take, uh, I'm surprised I haven't taken a hit yet. But um, what was I saying? Crap, I don't remember. Um, either way though, um, something I do like is that it's all about platforming. In fact, this next zone is a perfect example of that. Uh, the next zone is Marble Zone. However, before I explain any further, I actually am going to do a save state because. Uh, this is actually my third attempt recording this Let's Play because the previous two actually got a game over on Marble Zone. And so, we, and because of that, I'm going to actually uh, do a save state. How do you select? There we go. I'm going to save game. It's just a save state. Apparently, I have a, a save state already. Let me just overwrite this because it's not really important. And uh, so this way, if I get a game over, I can just load back this up. Uh, I'll just keep. I'll just do this before every zone, so I I can at least not start from the beginning and actually start from the zone I was in. Um, but yeah. Also, oh, I was kind of scratching my uh, nose there, so I didn't really have time to jump. But uh, something I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be recording this entire game in one playthrough, meaning uh, the episodes are gonna be broken up a little more weirdly. I'm not gonna be like, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog or anything like that. Or I'm not even gonna end it off either. It's gonna end pretty abruptly. It's gonna end at least when I finish an act. Like, I'm not gonna stop right in the middle of a zone, or not in the middle of an act. Um, so when I finish an act, and the episode might cut. And when it's, the next episode begins, I'm just gonna literally, um, start where I last ended. So that's how it's gonna be. So it might, it might be a little weird, um, on how, you know, the episodes end and begin, but that's just how I'm gonna do it, because, yeah. I've never actually done this before, but I think it'd be cool, because, you know, this is how you play a video game, really. Uh, let's get a checkpoint so we don't die. I didn't even need that, but okay. Um, the only the only item Sonic can get are the force fields. The you can get rings as well, um, and, and the invincibility, and that's it. So very simple game. Very simple items. Very simple move sets. Just a simple game in general. See, this is what I'm talking about. You see this platforming? It's not about speed. In fact, what I like to think about it is it's the it's how when you, how do I explain this? It's not about speed, but it's when when to go fast and when not to go fast. And this, obviously, you shouldn't go fast, and you should take your time and actually wait. And that's what I appreciate about this game. And that's what started it all, so that's what Sonic is supposed to be about. I'm not knocking in other games either. Even when they focus more on speed, it's still fun, and I still love it a lot. In fact, Sonic 1's not even my favorite Sonic game, so obviously the other games did it better when, when they focus a little more on speed. And I gotta admit, um... There are times where I wish I can go faster. Th this zone is not bad at all. I feel like this is actually the perfect blend of speed and platforming. There's another zone in this, which you know where you're underwater. That's a little more challenging and a little more platforming based stage and not speedy, where I don't like it as much, but it's still fun. Um, there's no no bad zone in this game, and each one's fun. Um, I, I just, I like it when Sonic's more more about platforming or uh, fast place, pace, um, platforming, because that's what he's all about. And I don't know, I feel like the first game is really a good representation of that, because that's how he started, and that's what the game is about. Um, also, this, uh, entire zone has these blocks mechanic, where pretty much you're just pushing blocks on switches, or pushing blocks like this. Uh, there's a giant fire that you have to run, um, we have to run away from. Which, it hasn't even appeared yet, but it should appear, like, right now. Yeah, right here. Boom. I don't know how you can die from that, but I'm sure there's a way. Also, I keep getting hit. God damn it. Oh, shit. Grab a ring. Made it. Okay, thank God. So, yeah, see, this is another platforming section that you just have to wait it out on. Be patient. Don't be too fast. If you're fast, you're gonna die. Also, I'm left with one ring. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the Chaos Emerald. I'm just saying, because... Like, I mean, like I said, my goal is not to 100% this game, which I know is weird, because, like, I've... Every single Let's Play I've done, I've tried 100%, especially if it's a platformer. Oh, shit, I died. Um, but this one is just a casual playthrough, especially since I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays, I've been stressed with them lately, and I have been losing interest. I think a casual playthrough like this is needed, right? Also, I'm sorry if the commentary isn't, like, that good, because it, this is actually a first for me in when where I'm commentating an older game. It's kind of hard to commentate an older game, I feel like. Um... So, if it's a little awkward, or a little weird, or a little boring, just bear with me here. Um, still trying to get used to this. But, uh, yeah. 
I'm trying to think if I, you know, really said everything I felt about Sonic, or this, just this game in particular. Um, I guess I did. Uh, this is what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, I was afraid I was going to run out of things to say, because you can't really say a lot about Sonic. It's kind of a simple game, so, you know, once you mention the mechanics of it, it's a little hard to kind of talk about more stuff. Uh, other than what you're doing, of course. Um, and I can't really talk about my memories with this game either, since it, you know, it was just my first Sonic game, but nothing really special happened, so I can't really say, talk about anything special. Also, I should be, I should be rolling on the ground more. Why am I not doing that? Like, if you walk and press down, you roll, and you can kill enemies that way, yet yeah, I'm not doing that for some reason. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, there's nothing too special about this game, really. Um, well... There's nothing too special about this game, like, memory-wise. It's just I played it when I was a kid, I guess? And it was my first Sonic game, that's about it. It wasn't anything momentum, moment, there wasn't, like, any, uh, special occasion. There wasn't anything too special. It wasn't my first video game or anything, or my first platformer. It was just a game I played. It was fun, and I like it a lot. And I do think it's one of my favorite, uh... Well, no, it's not one of my favorite Sonic games. What am I talking about? Um... It's a good game, though. I do like it. I do think, like, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 are better than Sonic 1. But, uh, that does not mean that Sonic 1 is a bad game. Also, is there something over here? There is! There is a coin as well as a checkpoint. But, yeah. And why am I playing Sonic 1 first? It's the first Sonic game. And it's the shortest. And it's the... Well, actually, no. I honestly... I think that Sonic 1 is the hardest Sonic game. Or, well, one of the hardest ones. It's definitely the hardest one in the trilogy. That's for sure. Um, so that's another thing. The first Sonic was actually challenging. I actually feel like a lot of Sonic games are easy. The first Sonic is actually challenging. I gotta admit that much. Also, something I like doing is I like breaking all of these, or at least trying to. Oh my god, I did it! Sweet! Look at all those points. Oh, there's still this. Did it! I broke all the blocks. It's not that special, but hey, I did it. I can at least say I did it. And I lost my shield right away, of course. Let me just wait for this to fall one more time. Uh, I forgot how many, um... <sighs> Come on, just go on the damn floor. thank you. Uh, I forgot how many acts this zone is. I'm on Act 2 currently, right? No, I'm not. I'm still on Act 1, though, I think. Wow. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Shit. Um, I don't know how many episodes this is gonna be, but my goal was to try to do, like, two zones in an episode. However... I'm also going to try to make these episodes, like, 15 minutes each. Because I want these to be shorter episodes. Um, 20 at max, if I really have to. But at this point, I think this was the end of Act 1, right? Of the second zone. Oh, no, this was Act 2. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, actually, the episode might end right now. Now, I'll wait till Act 3. By the way, that pause was just for in case I ended it. Well, I'll try, I'm going to try to, like not talk when I finish an act, just so if I end the episode there, it's not as awkward. Because I am guessing that it's going to end, like, like I said, every two zones. That's that's my guess. Every episode is going to have, like, two zones in it. Also, in terms of acts in each zone, each uh, zone will have either one or, or either two or three acts in it. Um, I mean, so far it looks like there's, like, three acts in each one, because... Green Hill Zone had three, and now Marble Zone has three. I think there are some that has two, though. I could be wrong, though. I can't. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, so I can't really remember. Uh, but that's just my memory there. Uh, let's hit hit this switch over here. Drop down. Uh, it looks like there was another way to the left, but it's not too important because I'm already here. Oh God. Okay. Well, that shield served its purpose, so thank you, shield. God, I feel like there's something else I can say about this game. I was in the middle of a thought. I hope I finished it. I'm not sure if I did. I guess the problem with me playing the game in one go is that I don't know what I said. So if I didn't finish the sentence, that's kind of bad. I think for the most part, though, you know my opinions on the game. I like the game a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, oh, I missed my jump. Well, let's just go back. Um, but yeah, this is all about platforming and... What?! Are you kidding me? I did not know that was a thing. Well, there I go. Ooh, actually, this is kind of bad. 
I feel like I should save. No, no, I'm gonna save save before every zone. You know what? That's what I said. I'm not gonna like cheat and be like, oh, I'm gonna save save right now. I know people are probably gonna need me shit for save saving, but like, I don't want to get a game over and like start all over. In fact, that's why the previous two recordings failed because I got a game over on the second zone and I wasn't gonna like. I wasn't gonna be like, oh, well, time to skip to when I get back, because I'm not gonna skip in this let's play. Like, come on. I'm a better gamer in where I can beat the original Sonic on one go. Come on. Like, I'm not that bad at the game. And yeah, I got hit by a goddamn bat. No, I can do this, definitely. Come on. Roll, thank you. That's what you're supposed to do to kill those enemies. For some reason, I didn't do that this entire time. Also, this time, let me make sure I actually jump off the damn block after the the water the geyser of lava shoots me up because I completely forgot that was what I was supposed to do. Thought there was more to the right, but there wasn't. Yeah, man, I don't know if I'm gonna get the six chaos emeralds, which kind of sucks because I actually do want to. I do want to 100% this game. Like, the only difference is you get, like, the complete ending, which isn't really all that different. You just, I think you just save it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, game over. Wow. I cannot believe I'm getting mad over the first sign of the Hedgehog. And, I can't believe I have to fucking skip in a Sonic game. Yeah. Okay. Well, episode over. I'll see you. Yeah, I, I know I just said I'm not going to end an episode, but I'll end it here. I'll see you guys in Act 3 Marvel Zone. So, yeah. I guess. See you guys then. <laughs>